What's up guys? Welcome back to Damn Good Cooking. Today I'm going to show you guys a creative little side dish you can make. And this is with your leftover vegetables so they don't go to waste. So it's a nice little healthy creative side dish. Don't really have a name for it, but you're just going to simply take your leftover vegetables, chop them up really good, throw them on a grill. Don't worry, my, my shirt doesn't say the S word. It says shirt. It's just the R fell off down there. Yeah, it was creative. So you probably only see that part. I don't know what you see in the video. But let me show you what we got here. We got some classic baby creamers, nice potatoes we picked up from Costco's. And it, it, it never fails. We always buy potatoes and for some reason they start getting soft and they start growing more potatoes out of it. So we, we try to go through it frequently, but a lot of times we'll get a bag and we pop it up there and we kind of forget about it. So the classic baby creamers, these actually really come in handy because they're small, they're very quick to make. Uh, it's not as thick as a regular potato, so if you want to have one for breakfast, you can throw it in a fryer or however you like to make it, chop it up, make some hash browns. And they're, they're, it's, it's a lot easier. It's going to grill a lot quicker too for today's recipe. And I'm taking over the leftover vegetables that we had from the other day. Got a little bit of green pepper. This green pepper is starting to get a little soft and old. I got the red pepper, got a little carrot, which neither one of us really like carrots. It was just to demonstrate that does it really work product video where we picked up products from Marshalls, Burlington, you know, those items as seen on TV that are near the checkout se section. And also I got the onions that we chopped up. So we're just going to combine these guys and make a nice little dish. So what we're going to do is chop up the rest of these green peppers, carrots, going to slice these potatoes. We're just simply going to throw it on some foil, spray the foil down with a little bit of oil, uh, season it, throw it on a grill. I'm telling you, this is a wonderful side dish. Let's get started. Got my cutting board. Gotta forgive me, I'm, I'm hoping the view angle is really nice. I'm so used to using the GoPro 5, my wife kind of spoiled me. I always use the GoPro 3, and on rare occasions I use the 4, but the 5 has that nice screen on the back and you can see exactly what you're seeing versus the other GoPros, you kind of just wing it and hope Keep your fingers crossed and hope everything turns out the right way. once you get everything chopped up really nice there got your potatoes green peppers red peppers carrots are underneath the potatoes there and your onions you just want to go ahead and what I normally do is we before in the past we used to take one big ball of foil to put everything in so it'll slow, slowly cook inside but with this guy here I'm actually gonna break it down to three sections which is gonna allow it to cook a lot quicker so I'm gonna get three little sheets of foil you're gonna see me spray these guys down and I'm just gonna evenly distribute all the vegetables inside the foil. The important thing, make sure you put a little oil down first, or in my case, I have a little grill spray that I'm gonna spray these things down really good with olive oil. Got 
Got everything on there on the foil. Foil has a little oil on there. The vegetables don't stick and burn. Also have the uh, vegetable seasoning on top. So we're just gonna ball these up into little balls and get them on the grill. Get it to the grill there, Dave. We need to get these guys on the grill right now. Get her done. Get her done. Let's get that grill heated. Almost forgot, guys. Vegetable fats. I'll give you three quick facts. Dyeing your hair with beets is a great way to add a temporary reddish tint to your strands without using all the harsh chemicals. Don't think I'll be doing that. Using a pen and made a mistake? You can just take the end of a cucumber and slowly mark that ink away. It'll disappear. Magic. And lastly, a tomato is a fruit. The confusion came back in the 1990s when the Supreme Court classified them as a vegetable for taxation purposes. There's your facts. Let's get this stuff to the grill. All right, looks like we're all heated up here. I got my uh, maple wood pellets on there. Can't stop cooking with this stuff. Just adding for more flavor. But let's get these guys on a grill. Now we wait. And it is another 100 degree day, so you got to make sure you stay hydrated. So I brought plenty of hydration. All right, guys, we got everything off the grill. Woo! Stay fully hydrated. I'll let you see what one looks like. Let me just pull this guy on off of there. We're just going to grab one. All right, let's see, guys. Now that's a damn good vegetable pot. Let's make sure the potatoes are tender. Pork goes right through. So there you have it. Something quick, something easy. If you got those extra vegetables that are left over, you don't want them to go to waste, just chop it up with a little bit of potatoes, throw it in there with a little bit of seasoning, toss it on a grill, and you got your nice little side dish. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, damn good cooking. Did you know you were wearing your shit shirt?